Hey guys, Paul, Twins Epic Adventures. Uh, we just got back from Cooktown and we're on our way to Tasmania next week. So we're just going to have a bit of a look at the caravan's uh, brakes and bearings. So I thought I'd run you guys through how I go about that. Right, I'll um, set up and we'll get into it. And there's a set of, set of bearings here. Trying to put dirt and everything. Okay. Guys, now you've got to make sure also in doing this, don't have the handbrake on, otherwise, you will never get it off. black. Alright. And then that's the, um, the inside of the brakes. <clears throat> So the idea is with these electric brakes, um, it's got a magnet, as you turn the magnet on, uh, sorry, as you apply the brake in the car, this magnet grabs onto the rotating drum and will pull this, as it pulls this, pulls, pulls this across. These are a little bit out of, out of alignment, so I've got a lot of play in these now. So what we might do, these lines aren't wearing too bad, but we might just replace these while I've got them off. Um, they're a little bit, little bit glazed looking. So I might pull them off and replace them while it's apart. So when, once I do that, I've then, I've then got it on the back of the disc, sorry, the back of the drum, and then I'll take these in and get them machined up. Um, there's a bit of a bit of a lip in here. Uh, so it's no longer flat, so we'll get that flattened back out as well. So what have I got? Five, five bolts on this. Five bolts and a handbrake. So we'll do that now.
Okay, now move on to the actual brake itself. Now we put all that back together. Um, so on the back of these there's a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a rubber seal, which you've just got to work around and to get it out. Sometimes you have to replace them, sometimes they'll come out. I'm just going to try and try and reuse this one if I can, as long as I can get it out. There it goes, starting to move now. It's two screwdrivers, one either side. Twist and, twisting one as you put pressure on the bearing on the other side. Normally it works. There we go, he's popping up. Yeah, we should be right to just give him a little bit of a, a bit of a tap. Tap off the other side of the brake. Guys, so it's just a rubber seal it sits in the hard against there to stop the grease running past um, so from there and then there's obviously another bearing which is very black but at least it has grease in there now we'll give this all a clean out and then we can knock the races out Hey yeah guys, Paul Twins Avenue Ventures. Um, so I've just been down to the machine shop and we've picked up these new, um, sorry, the brake drums that we've had machined. I'll give you a quick look at them now. So these are it. They've had um, machined the, the magnet surface and also the leather lining seats. Um, yeah, so any any sort of uh, machine shop will be able to manage that for you just to get them, get them nice and smooth since we've gone to the effort of putting a new um, new brakes on it and then I've cleaned up all the bearings they're all ready to go and um, pulled them out had a look cleaned them up with just with degreaser and then washed it off and then I'll give them a spray with some brake clean um, yep so do that clean out all the old all the old uh, grease and then inspect the bearings so you don't want to see any pits marks or anything like that on these on these bearings and um, also need to inspect the races, which are, which are the, is this bit inside here, um, and if there are any marks or chips or anything like that, uh, best bet's just to have them replaced, get a new set or whatever. Um, so we're doing that. Got a new set of split pins, because um, I don't don't want to use the old ones again. Um, but yeah, everything's cleaned and we're ready to go. So I'll go about packing these bearings now.
sounds good, which it does. You can check there's no, no rock in it. If it's got a rock in it, it means the bearing's not tight enough. But you don't want it too tight, otherwise you'll crush the bearings. And I think that'll be, it'll be right. Excellent. Done.